Yo, what's up, ATG? You back with your boy Andre the Great. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the game. You feel me? And this is my first voiceover video. So, yeah, I'm doing, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen finna whip up some grub. And I'm finna show y'all the ingredients you will need. So, first, you will need some Pillsbury can water biscuits. You won't need two of them. Then you gonna need the milk. Get you some milk. Go 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 somewhere. Get you some milk. Don't be like your daddy. Never come back. All right. Then you wanna go get your sausages. Two pounds. Some cheese and some delicious eggs. And this economy nowadays, you gonna spend some money on some eggs. You gonna need a stove and a sink. Yeah. Enjoy the video. And make sure you watch the full video. All right, step number one is make sure you wash your dirty hands. Don't get in the kitchen with no dirty hands. Make sure step number one is wash your dirty hands. All right, step number two is turn the stove on and put the meat in the pan until it's, wait, pause. I'm not gay. Put the sausage in the pan and make sure it's mixed to his golden brown. All right, I'm struggling here a little bit. Get it open. Come on. Come on now. Uh, Lee, I never struggled this much. Oh, wow. Look at that long piece of meat. Put it in the pan. Make sure it's good. Golden brown so you won't get salmonella. All right. Let's see what I'm... Oh, you want a spoon and mix it up. Come on. Come on, chop, chop. Don't worry about my beard. It's just getting there. It's getting there. So now you want to move the camera closer. Make sure you get all the good angles. Smush that meat up. Make sure it's good and mushed in that pan so you can get it golden brown. Come on, keep, keep, come on, keep going, keep going. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. Come on. We almost got it. Come on. Any day now. All right, we want to keep doing what I'm doing. Keep doing a little more. I'll be back in five years. Two thousand years later. Now that it took me five years to cook the sausage to its brown, I'm gonna let y'all listen to this. It sounds so, so good. All right, all right, let's get back to the show. Once you make sure it's all the way done, good, crispy, and brown and then let's move on to the next part man i'm gonna I'm just sit here and watch this it looks so good i just want to eat some right now all right it's enough of time being fat all right let's move on to the next part all right step number two or three make sure you get your two cans of pillsbury buttermilk biscuits and put them in a clean casserole dish make sure you wash it clean it real good you don't want to be cooking on dirty stuff all right but anyway make sure you get the two cans of pear bear buttermilk biscuits or any biscuits you want for this dish but anyway yeah you want to make sure you spread them in the dish i was kind of guessing you know what i wanted to use my hands or i ain't have no gloves so i had to use my hands but i washed them anyway so yeah it could take up the two cans and a half well, one and a half cans. Yeah, it took me a minute. I was struggling to open up the thing. But yeah, we're going to get there. So you're going to need about three more out of there. Four. Either way. But yeah, it's a real easy dish to make. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss another video. All right, so once you get done doing this, you're done. You thought we was done? No. You, so now you want to take a trash can, pull it over, get you about 9 to 13 eggs, get you some milk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I use 12. 
So yeah, cause I got a big family. But anyway, you wanna get your milk, whatever I'm doing in the background. Oh yeah, I'm getting a knife. You know, no, I'm getting a salt and pepper. So, so yeah, you wanna make sure you grab your peppers, your salt, black pepper, anything you need to season in and flavor it up. All right, so you wanna get one cup of milk, pour it on in there. Close the cap, and then you want to uh, flavor it on up. Get your salt, get your black pepper. Stir it on up. I just realized that wasn't gonna work. It was spilling over the top, so I got a bigger bowl. But yeah, mix it on up. Mix it on up. Keep mixing, keep mixing, keep mixing. Keep mixing. Keep mixing some more. Keep mixing. Keep mixing, keep mixing. And just keep mixing till your arm fall off. All right, so the next step is you want to go get the pot of meat off the stove, bring it to the countertop, and start spreading it all over the uh, buttermilk biscuits that you got from Pillsbury from the store. And just spread it nice and evenly. Yeah, spread it, keep spreading. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss another of your boys' videos. Like, I'm serious. Make that uh, subscribe button great. But yeah. Make sure you spread it out evenly. All right, once you're done with that, put it in a uh, sink. Wait, but wait, get you some cheese. You can't, you can't, you can't miss the cheese. You got to get some cheese. You know what I'm saying? Wash your hands before you touch the cheese. All right, so yeah, you want to spread that out evenly. Oh yeah, I love cheese, bro. So many types of cheeses, bro. Love cheese. But uh, anyway, enough of being fat. Oh uh, yeah. That's why all my big backs out here who want to make a quick, easy dinner. And then you want to spread the eggs evenly throughout the dish. You know, yeah. Shake it if you want to. Make sure you get all them eggs. Go ahead and then add more cheese. Cheese is the key here. You want to add more cheese. All right, then you want to, yeah, spread it out. And I'll be back for the next one. All right, so the next step is set your oven at 350. Or set it to 350. Uh, you want to put your casserole, breakfast casserole in the oven. Yeah, I couldn't do it with it. Yeah. So yeah, make sure you put that in the oven. Then you want to let it bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. Everybody cook, but don't want to clean. Make sure you leave the kitchen the way you found it. Clean up all your mess. Clean it up, wash the dishes. Yeah, look at that clean kitchen. Yeah, that's the sauce button. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Bye.